take our flower pots from spring to Christmas is DIY flower pot toy <laughs> soldiers. Hello, so Maria. Oh, hello. These are so adorable. It's an adorable. You yeah. know, I love I love Nutcrackers, toy soldiers, that whole thing because I collected yeah. them growing up, and so did my husband. So we have a lot around our house. Oh, so kind of continuing with that theme, this is a great way to decorate on a much larger scale. Plus, I have about a bajillion flower pots around my oh, house in the totally. backyard, yep. yeah. different sizes. I did one for St. Patrick's Day, if you remember the giant um, ones that I used for houses, or for the houses for hats. And uh, That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I repurposed that. those into this guy. That's adorable. And so it's a great way to reuse those things for All right. Christmas. So other than uh, flower pots and you and your husband around, because yeah. you're both collected, what <laughs> else useful. do we need? We're useful. Uh, so we have some paint, and then I have the, the gold ribbon that I use, mm. and then whatever you decide to use for your arms, for the little guy, I'm going to use just a little scooper there. Okay. And any kind of little details that you have. Um, I use these for the shoulders and the f the little uh, feather for the hat and some paint brushes and then of course your different sizes. So you can see we did this on a much smaller scale with mm -hmm. these guys with these flower pots and then some scissors. And to seal it, I did use a liquid nails just because I wanted it to yeah. be really um, strong. Okay. But you, in the same process, uh, using hot glue to kind of initially seal it as mm -hmm. the liquid nails really takes its time to okay. really harden up. Right. But that's usually what I like. For, for the sake of uh, just building now, I'm going to use the hot glue okay. for, okay. just to Let's show go. you guys. Let's go. Let's so go. I recommend painting your pots first. And what so kind of paint? This is just acrylic craft paint. You can also use a, a spray paint, but make mm. sure when you go in and do your detailing, you'll go in like how I have the black yeah. here. And so what I did was I actually put mine up first and then went in and kind of figured out the extra detailing. So this is these are the feet and the these feet. are the legs. Aww. So I stuck with a, a red and black and white theme. I, like I thought it. that was classic. kind of fun with some classic mm -hmm. gold detailing. So I'm going to do some hot glue along here. Like I said, if you were building this, you would definitely want to do, yes, thank you, Mark. Okay. You would definitely want to do the liquid nails in the same process, just kind of like so alternating get it set with that. and then get it go set. back. And then go back. Exactly, yeah. so I'm doing that here. So you painted them all one solid color first, and like you said, went back and did the details because you had to figure out how it was going to exactly, come Exactly, exactly. And then right. that's, yeah, so basically I didn't, for the one that's up there right here, you can see how that's black. I didn't make that decision until I had it already up, so you can kind of see the sizing on oh, everything. Neat. Oh, this okay. is so and cute. This is yeah. Isn't it adorable? And I yeah. love this mini one too compared to the big guy over there. Exactly. So you can do it on a much different scale. And then, uh, you know, and I did the toy soldier just to do something a little bit different than the, just the classics. We have the, you know, the great one behind you, Mark, the, right, the that we can cracker. see the nutcracker. Yeah, so this was just a different, different idea. The, um, I don't want to say I have uh, little understanding here, but there is little understanding. Oh, it, yes. Right? So yes. I, this could tip over, could it not? And I learned this one the hard way, Mark. See what I did Mark? there with a little uh -oh. understanding? A little under... under I got that now. Yeah. I did get it. Took it took me a minute to get it. Yeah. yeah. I just got it. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. It was subtle. It was subtle. It was very subtle, yes. And, you know, I did learn the hard way, Marky. You heard me talking earlier because I, for this guy, I was a little worried about him being top-heavy and realized I could just put a bunch of rocks or something at the oh, bottom smart. to make it a little sure. bit more secure. So I definitely recommend doing that. If they're outside, that's a good if idea. If it's outside, yeah. So then you can see, this one's they stayed really They really did, really without well. even sure. the other, the liquid glue, the liquid nails. Yes. Do you know what else I was just thinking about while we're making these? Do you know those little mini pots? The <gasps> so mini cute, ones? like mini guys. Mini How guys. cute would we have mini to do guys. that so you can have a different oh, size, like each, all the different sizes? Yes, like that would the be nesting so cute. Ones. Yeah, nesting. and they put them inside of each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then so I added just some detailing here, like the little hand. You can see we use the little, um, and I probably will trim those down a little so you can see his arm. Sure. But I'm going to reference over Where's here, you can see. How do you do the face? Oh, okay. Yes. The face, yeah. yeah. So the, for the face, you can go online and you can l either look at pictures or print out and then just trace, trace if you sure. wanted to do that, print it on a much larger scale. Aww. The Toy Soldier is really simple because it's just a bunch of circles and then you can reference on um, this one as well when you go to yeah. our website for the step out of this and you can just reference the picture and see where everything was on here. But it's really simple with just freehand and that's why I recommend building it first, seeing where the face is and then going for, going in and doing it then. Sure. I just think that's a better idea. And then what else okay. did you do to finish up? Okay, well you see then, like I mentioned the little, <laughs> that we used so the little cute. scoopers there, the little trowels just to go yeah. with the whole gardening theme. I thought that was really fun, just painted those as well. This is just a scrap, or a scrap of paper. When you go in the section for mm -hmm. um, the scrapbooking, there's that, and then this is just some ribbon that is gold glittered. You're welcome, Mark, I did that uh -huh. just for just you. Just for him. Yeah, and then just adding, this is just a, a fabric that's some trim, and then a little, uh, 
little bell, little bell at the top. Little flower and there. yeah, and so that a was just really mean? a little feather. feather. Isn't it fancy? Really? I think that's from it's one of Paige's. Well, I found this in the craft room here. I I'm, was digging through and like found a bunch of stuff. I think it's from one of Paige's segments, she but I found asking. it. And she, it's she couldn't so find her feather. I'm desperate yesterday. to put it. Yeah. Where did my feather go? Don't tell her. Help me, Maria. Where's the center? Here. Desperate to put this on. You are desperate. Right here. Why? Why? Because it's a real feather in your cap. So, there it is. There it's okay. It is. A little slow on that, but that's all right. It is. It's so cute.